Hey you, it's me, Regent, Raging Jeep. Uh, fun fact, fun tip, pro tip. Uh, I got the uh, airline, it's not 100% routed, but I got the airline coming out the axle. It goes up, it goes through the firewall, it goes down the inside, it goes behind the roll bar, and then drops right into the manifold very, very nicely. Uh, so what, uh, what the pro tip is, is the, uh, look at me, one eye, Lisa, you, uh, when I turned it all on, the air compressor powered up and the, uh, and it stopped like it should charged up. It was awesome. Let's get our keys. I shall demonstrate. And, uh, then I engaged the locker to test uh, the axle before I went any further and I was very sad so now we're on ignition's on so we're going to you can hear turn on the compressor it should charge up and it should stop and it should stay that way according to the manual uh, for 15 minutes then I can engage the front locker you can hear it clicked and then it powered up uh aired up a little bit more and it stopped and it uh should not recharge for about 15 minutes um you will hear a hissing sound if you mounted your your uh compressor on the in, on the in the cabin and that is actually not a, a hissing sound that is actually the fan uh cooling the the unit but uh, when I first did it, uh, it ran continuously, and it's not supposed to do that. That is, uh, as they say, uh, no bueno. So it said, you have a leak somewhere. So I went back and I checked everything. I checked all the fittings down here with some soapy water. Perfect. Awesome. So clearly, the leak is in, the, uh, in or around the fitting uh, on the solenoid. So I go back and I look, and... I, I didn't even have to put soapy water on it. I felt, and there's air pouring out around the uh, fitting that goes into the solenoid. And the instructions, I think, are uh, a bit disingenuous. Um, the instructions say, uh, screw the press-in fitting. So it's a, a really cool little thing. It's, a, it's got a little plastic plunger in it, and uh, the, fuel, the airline is a semi-rigid um, hose. Uh, it's a tube. Um, so you screw that thing in. It's got a little O-ring on the bottom of it. And then you press the uh, line into it. And it uh, creates a seal. Awesome. Uh, so I was like, this is bullshit. What am I going to do? So I took the fitting out. Uh, I pressed it on the end of the line. And it went about twice as far as it, as it did when I just pressed it in after it was already installed. And uh, yeah, so then I reassembled everything. Bada bing, bada boom. So uh, if ARB is listening to this, uh, yeah, bro, I, I, I think that's a better step. Uh, I don't see any downside to it. Everything functions perfectly, exactly as you described it should. So uh, there's that, but yeah, so now, Everything, I jacked it up, I put it on blocks. Um, I uh, accidentally put my dust guards on the wrong side, so I took those all apart, put those back together. Uh, and then jacked it up a little bit higher, put it on blocks, and that way it's uh, mostly level, it's sitting under there. I need to wait uh, for my coil uh, compression tool and uh, then I'm going to measure up the upper control arms. We're going to get it really close. Uh, we'll compress the, the uh, coils. We'll put those on. And then uh, we'll, uh, we'll give her a shot. We'll see, see what the angles look like. Um, and then uh, once that's done, I mean, bro, we're, we're ready to rock and roll. Uh, I mean, throw the steering kit on. Uh, I got a Steinjager crossover steering kit. Uh, so we'll throw that on. We'll uh, throw the bumper back on and uh, Bada bing bada boom. We're rolling down the road. So uh, 
while we're about 50% of the way through the steps, we're about 95% of the way through the time, which is amazing. So I'd like to, oh man, I'm tired. I'd like to give a shout out to all the friends uh, online uh, who helped out uh, the Jeep Forum, jeepforum.com, uh, very helpful resource. Um, uh, Crawlpedia, I'd like to give a shout out to. They have some really great torque specs. Um, and uh, 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 backlash and pinion depth, pinion depth setting uh, numbers. Um, and uh, there's another guy who I can't, can't remember off the top of my head. I'll find him when I post my next video. Uh, he has an excellent write-up on drive shaft concepts. Uh, so he answered a question on, on what should your angle be coming out of the back of your, coming off your yoke. Uh, for a CV drive shaft, um, and instead of just answering the question, uh, he said it would be helpful to understand the concepts involved, and he gave a very comprehensive and understandable uh, write-up on the on the engineering and physics behind uh, drive shaft harmonics. So uh, that was also incredibly helpful. So it was Raging Jeep signing off. I'll see you guys next time.